All right, uh, greetings, family. Uh, this is Bomani Tamba, and welcome to our Africa for the Africans uh, tour conference call. Today's date is October 13th, 2024. And uh, we're here to talk about a wonderful list of journeys uh, that we have between this year and next year, and also talk about all the documentation that we have across uh, the internet, uh, pictures, videos, information on our website, and a whole lot of um, uh, videos and more photos and just uh, details just to get you clear and uh, prepared. Uh, so the main thing I want to talk uh, about, um, the tour details using the newsletter that was sent uh, via email. So I'm going to start a uh, screen sharing and just kind of want to get into a few things right away. There we go. All right, uh, there you go, family. So hopefully everybody can see the uh, newsletter. So this is the Africa Tour Conference called October 13th. Uh, conference called Details in Egypt, South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, and Tanzania. And the flow of the uh, tour schedule is in that exact order. All right, so the newsletter uh, mainly just uh, updated with just uh, all of the updated uh, journeys that we have. Where once you uh, go on the newsletter, you'll be able to just click on um, you know, the relative links uh, similar to the uh, website. And this is just a list of just uh, group photos from previous journeys and this dialogue to introduce and connect you to uh, our Africa tour program. So the last uh, journey that we um, went on was our Ghana Roots and Culture journey. That's July 11th to the 23rd. Uh, so that mark, uh, our 24th uh, Journey of a Lifetime to Ghana and uh, 18 years of Africa for Africans Tours and Investment, which we started with uh, on the first Ghana journey in December 2006. So as time progresses, uh, that's um, an energy of this, these wonderful uh, T-shirts that we uh, just create so we can just connect and harmonize uh, in this nice roots and culture energy. Uh, and the first uh, journey that we set off uh, 2024 was a li historical Liberia and Morocco roots and culture journey. So both of uh, these journeys that we uh, came from, uh, the majority of our videos are up on the YouTube page and you can always find them on their playlist. So if you wanna see what the recordings are for any of the journeys, uh, I have them organized in playlists so you can see the videos from the journey throughout. Right, and this is our closeout and kind of set off of, as far as 2023, 2024. That was our last journey in South Africa, uh, December 24th, 2023 to January 4th. And as we scroll down here, we also just uh, sharing with you some new dates for South Africa as I look to just get a few more people to join us. And uh, that's our new date set for January 30th to February 10th. So we're hoping this also give uh, more people a chance to join in, but uh, the December schedule is unfortunately something we can't do anymore with uh, airlines price gouging and just the busy craziness that uh, was kind of slowed down during the, uh, the COVID era. But since uh, you know, since it's a little lighter now, then you have more and more people traveling in December and it changes a lot of things. So. Uh, that is our latest move as far as changes. And then there is the list of other countries uh, that we travel into along that time frame. So just to go in order, um, we're getting ready to leave on our Egypt journey November 20th and return December 2nd. And then that's the uh, South Africa dates. Then after that, we have Kenya, April 4th to the 14th, 2025, and uh, Ghana, May 24th to June 5th. And then close out here, Tanzania, November 20th to December 1st. So that's uh, a nice uh, schedule flow with uh, some of the more incredible countries that we have traveled to over the last 20 years. And uh, this Egypt journey is going to just launch our energy into the traveling to Egypt as more and more people have showed interest. So that's been our journey um, over the last uh, 20 years in Africa from 2004 to 2024 is uh, traveling, exploring, 
network and, and this uh, sharing the experience, um, uh, whether it's business investment, social night, uh, showing the experience. And that's why you see a list of over 4,400 videos on YouTube. So uh, the best way I can um, share them is uh, in, in playlists. So I always uh, recommend everyone before you travel or just to get an idea of what you're looking, uh, you know, what, you're, what the experience is like. Uh, it's documented in um, this high definition 4K and uh, you can just watch it right there on your YouTube, um, yeah, you, your, your TV and watch YouTube on your TV and just pull up the channel and all the details are there. So that's one of the... Um, more uh, you know, consistent thing that we have is just lots of videos on all of the journeys. So all 12 journeys that we've taken across Africa, uh, especially in the last uh, 10, 15 years, are uh, all on YouTube. The first few years, uh, not so much. Um, the, the earliest uh, journey that we have is Egypt, uh, 2000, Egypt, April 2004, 20 years ago. All right, so all the conference uh, call newsletters that we have, this a conference call details, uh, same link that we use and all the calls around the same time, you know, somewhere on a Sunday, seven o'clock, uh, whether it's uh, the middle of the month or or closer to the beginning, just whatever time it flows, but try to keep it uh, somewhere in the middle of the month. That way, just have consistent information flowing. All right, then as I scroll down, this is our last Tanzania journey. So, uh, Looking to uh just organize another journey to Tanzania around the same time frame, but uh so that's uh November 2025. And November has been a great time to travel. As a matter of fact, um over the last uh, almost um eight straight years, uh, we've been able to just uh have uh November journeys or the last uh several years. So that's worked out well, especially since uh we're up to the kind of this uh move forward from the uh the Christmas New Year's uh dates. Uh, that's a good balance to close the year out. All right, Senegal and Gambia. So some of these countries are not on there because unfortunately just limited with schedule as we just try to do a nice rotation of two to three schedule a year with the best countries or the country that people are showing more interest in. As you stro uh, scroll along, uh, all you see is just uh, literally just all different colored t-shirts, uh, different groups, and that's just us as a people are uh, connecting. Another aspect of the uh, newsletter, uh, uh, you have uh, details as far as just uh, all of these uh, links and along with the links, you just take your time on the website and then just read through the details and this, uh, if you have questions, you can jot them down, reach out to us, um, uh, that way we can talk, um, join the conference call, uh, share uh, information or post your questions on the uh, WhatsApp group or just uh, text me. So just trying to make um, you know make ourselves available as to where you can communicate if you have this any questions. Uh, beyond that, just uh, trying to recommend more and more of us just read through the entire flow of the uh, tour details uh, when you click on the link. And I'm going to come back and also just go through the links uh, from the website. Uh, just going through the newsletter and just showing all of the uh, the flow of the history of our journeys. And all those journeys, you can say, this was during the uh, the time of the COVID era. But, uh, you know, we keep on moving, keep on moving strong in this. Uh, as long as we, are, you know, we can, you know, it's safe and we can, this, there's protocols we can follow and game plans we can come up with. You know, you just make these move and keep things going. But... Uh, do not error. We didn't miss a beat. All right, and as uh scroll down right here, so these are the links: um, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Just variation of uh, videos. Uh, the last set of videos on the YouTube channel is the video of our land project. I, I, at the uh, Black South Pan African community uh, in uh, Ghana, and then also the business conference videos, and then before that was this, uh, just a nice uh, journey around uh, the the remodified uh, Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, as uh, and as you just scroll down, there's more countries and this uh, different uh, experience. 
And so these are, are shared. Um, and as I look to this, put more on uh, online uh, as you know, time go along, you just try to put up as much as possible and updates uh, uh, things as much as possible. We have had this a whole lot of journey. So I've uh, been trying to just keep uh, updated information now flowing. So you just, uh, like every few days, you just see new videos and new videos. And that's just us uh, sharing our experience. Uh, and for some people, uh, it's, you know, some people, that's something that they're looking for. And some people, it's, you know, they may be looking for something else, but it's uh, our full program, our full experience on our journey. And uh, there's a whole lot of uh, recordings, especially from our tour guides. Um, and whenever you go to Historical Place, try to just create uh, nice small films and just showcase and share our history and our culture. And other links that we have is uh, the uh, Facebook uh, group page uh, pages. So uh, as uh, we create different uh, journeys, we have the, I've just created different uh, Facebook pages. So you just basically post in information and post information around. And and this is a, a nice little small gallery view of uh, all of our journeys over the last 18 years. All right, so family, I'm going to switch to our website, Africa for the Africans.org. And just always recommend everyone when you get a chance, just literally click on the link of your interest, of your journey. And also some of the other things on the uh, website is information on Black Star Pan African community. This the foundation details of just our vision of uh, business, building our business enterprise slash repatriation and Pan African community there in Ghana so we can just collect connect with like minds and you know kind of just um, invest in our future to this you know, build the things that we need. All right, the Africa tour books, um always um recommending those um we just want to see the program itself. Uh these tour books are written in detail, some are much better than others and as time go along, you know, you just keep working on them. But these are basically our gift to you, um souvenir gift along with the t shirts, the pens, the bag. And just to share a vibrant energy. And you know, this is one of the best books I've created. Uh, that is a Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park. And the bottom photo is this, the previous journey before us at the Black Star Independence Square. So you just see the energy of the Black Star and then all of the colors. So uh, these are all my uh, designs. And over the years, I've just wanted to share more of them. So they're on this uh, link. And uh, you see all of the countries that we've traveled to in the last several years, and you can download it uh, as a PDF book. Or you can just click on it and do a flip book. And another dynamic book, uh, library book. So as time goes along, you know, the goal is always to, if you, you know, modify whatever we did before and just make it uh, you know, smoother, clearer. As far as library, there was no previous journey before that. So, you know, this, this, Create a fresh book, and that worked out. So as uh, the next upcoming journeys are coming, just look into Egypt. I have to create a fresh one, and so I need to get started on that uh, uh, very soon in the next few days. And this you know, takes time to put it together, uh, but little by little, it's um it just shares our full program as far as you traveling on the journey, uh, preparation information, uh, the full detail itinerary, introduction to staff and crew, uh highlights of the different uh, hotels and the different tour sites we're going to if we have all the business and investment information and tour promos are uh, all in the back and if we have our uh, other uh, details uh, we just kind of just lay down the book as far as our uh, language language translation just to give you a nice uh, you know program feel versus just a pamphlet uh, give you a nice authentic book and uh, these are the things that we specialize in this uh, technology efficiency so what you see is Bomani technology, and that's just the power force behind this, creating everything from the websites to everything that you see in colors and documentation. And as you're scrolling down the uh, main menu of the website, it's always have the supporting uh, details on there. Uh, and this was created more of a, a classic uh, over a decade ago, and just have just upgraded it to where it still have the classic look, uh, but um, also this. Uh, full of the content that you need so you can just be clear on the journey. 
And then when you look to the left, that's just a link to all the social sites. So you can just click and um, pitch in videos will pop up and it's just a whole bunch of different vibes just to get you this, um, uh, you know, feeling some kind of energy so you can process things. Or, now, some people may be more into this one and look at certain things and read through certain things and some people may not. So, but the main thing is that uh, we have the foundation for those details online and uh, the goal is just to keep on updating them. Right, so all of the classic books, so lots of lots of books. So this uh take me back to 2017, and that was one of the uh, last time we did these multiple country journeys, and from there on, basically started traveling with different groups uh, multiple times a year out of this, the one or two times that we did. It's just usually before that, from 2016 and back, one or two uh, journeys, uh, if that, so... For the last uh, seven years, uh, this been on the road, honestly, it seemed like uh, almost every three to four months. Uh, so trying to adjust uh, that to uh, two to three, uh, it's uh, a lot of schedule, but uh, you know, when you're energetic and you just got the flow going, you just make it uh, make it work out. So these are all great uh, memories and we just keep on sharing it. So I uh, appreciate everybody for journeying and sharing the experience and uh, connecting and introducing people and uh, looking for more people to join us so we can just get back to the numbers of these wonderful big groups. But this uh, November 2017 uh, in Ghana, it was uh, 42 of us, uh, excuse me, uh, 43 of us. And uh, 10 years before, in 2007, it was 42 of us. So those are the 40 something uh, groups, and you just make these things work. So Great at handling this logistics and just ready for the new future of the next journey. So let's uh, talk about uh, Egypt as I go to the top. So that is the, the incredible Africa tour books. I mean, looking forward to this, giving you a fresh copy of it. Uh, it's it's um, you know, got stacks of them all over the place. And you know, if you come by for a visit um, and you meet me for the first time, these are some of the things we give and just go through it and Hoping that you take it with you and just uh, look through it and then let the journey connect with you. So the main thing, uh, once you're ready to look at the journey that you're looking to experience, this, it's uh, all there in order. So Egypt uh, journey. All right, so uh, itinerary is only a few documents there. Uh, general terms, overview, itinerary, and... The other most important thing, the uh, tour preparation, which is uh, what I want to spend time to uh, go through. All right, so right now uh, we are just done. We just got one or two more people to close out with um, tickets, and then we are good to go, and we have to... Uh, we have our domestic flights uh, in Egypt. So uh, for those who are looking to connect to New York and you're not uh, living in New York, um, just want to make sure you have your connection flight to New York. And the main thing is that we need to connect and meet up at 6 p.m. So then I got you on the uh, Royal Air Maroc flight, uh, leaving at 8.15. And that is a way to get us to, um, you know, it's a short layover in Casablanca but it also uh, gets us to Cairo to where we can uh, literally just uh, get to Cairo in the evening, uh, the next day, uh, November 21st, uh, and just kind of check into the hotel, relax, and then we're just gonna get ourselves organized and just refuel since that's a lot of uh, movement. And then we're gonna take uh, early morning flight uh, uh, to Aswan. So that's a five o'clock flight. So. Uh, instead of just uh, taking us all the way to Aswan, um, the Royal Emirates flight literally just get us into where we can just kind of just ease and relax for the night. Uh, so uh, these are details that's just uh, well organized for that reason. Other than that, um, we'd have just taken um, maybe a Air France flight and get in, yeah, get on the get in on the twenty second and just literally just be there at the airport for a few hours. And then uh, make our way to Aswan. So just to make it simpler and just uh, less stressful, we just uh, added an extra day, and that's where the twentieth uh, came up. That way we can just, you know, get ourselves relaxed in Cairo, and uh, we're gonna actually just come back to Cairo towards the end. So that's a different one. And then also, um, I'll just go to one or two things, uh, touch up, and then 
we'll start uh, working on a private conference call for Egypt with uh, finalized itinerary. Uh, I'll check and update uh, you know, as the flight schedule go. Uh, they make certain changes with the time, so that way we can have the most accurate, organized schedule, and then that's the one I'll also use for our book. All right, so uh, once we uh, get to us one, um, uh, and that's a uh, that's well, not a short flight. It's you're going from one part of Egypt to the next, so five a.m. and uh, seven a.m. arrival. So in Egypt, uh, still a long flight. So once we get there, we're gonna just uh, check in, just uh, enjoy breakfast, uh, relax, um, you know, uh, relax for a few hours. We're gonna organize a meeting to where we can just enjoy a buffet uh, for lunch uh, right there on the cruise ship. And then we're gonna also just uh, proceed to the start uh, basic tours in the afternoon just uh, to get the tour in going. And and then hopefully everybody have the you know, cameras there um, with uh, lots of um, storage space, uh, especially your phone uh, and just um, be ready just to you know, record this uh, combination of this uh, great ancient history to this modern uh, this uh, you know, modern cities in Egypt. So it's a lot of new uh, cities that are popping up. So you'll be able to see this an incredible timeline. And also when you're taking a cruise ship and you're actually just sailing along the Nile, you also just be able to see this different um, history and of the you know of the country from this ancient history to what is being built new. Uh, part of the main uh, journey in Aswan is actually just uh, taking the uh, bus ride uh, Saturday, November 23rd in the morning. And that's a three to four bus ride. It's always one to just let everyone know so you could just uh, be ready and prepared. Uh, it's one of those situations where a group of buses are going at the same time and being escorted by, you know, you know, by police, because you're literally going out in the middle of the desert, and if there's any emergency communication, you know, you're out there in the desert, so it's going to be interesting uh, just uh, seeing the, the logistic movements. Uh, so once we get to Abu Simba, we're there for a few hours, and we just enjoy the journey, and then we're going to make our way back to Aswan. All right, so we're going to overnight on a cruise ship, and then we're going to take that cruise uh, from uh, Sunday to Monday, uh, so... Sailing from Aswan all the way to uh, Luxor, so a nice, uh, nice stretch. But the main thing is once you uh, get to um, on the ship and you you know get to the daytime and you know we do uh, day uh, day tours, you're literally just gonna be able to just get off the ship. Uh, we have the bus there organized and we just do our tour for that day. So there's a few different unique temples that uh, we're going to be stopping along as we uh, cruise to Luxor. And then once we get to Luxor, now uh, we're going to end up just checking back into uh, in a, into into actual hotel hotel, and then just be able to just do these two incredible, incredible days as far as the uh, East Bank and the West Bank. So you're talking about Karnak City, you talk about just a whole lot of uh, temples, And uh, these are all the things that's uh, looking forward to. Uh, most of these are a similar path that took uh, 20 years ago. And you know, the documentation was uh, okay. You know, the technology of uh, recording is on a whole different level. So that's why I'm just very you know, excited and just been uh, working towards and looking forward to this. And you know, I have all my stuff uh, organized already so I can have all my storage. I'm looking to document this on a whole different level in uh, 8K and some 4K. All right, then uh, uh, we're going to break uh, to a nice resort after we uh, close out in uh, Luxor uh, to Urgata. So that's a nice uh, you know, bus ride. But it's a one-way bus ride because uh, when we leave there, we're going to get that flight from Urgata to uh, Cairo. And then we're going to close on the Cairo journey. So while you're here, this is um, trying to create more itineraries where you just have a nice uh, tropical break at a resort to wake in this, you know, and trying to create it, always trying to create it like right there in the middle of the journey, especially when we hit the ground running in the first few days. And then you just, you know, if you want to do certain things, if you just want to relax completely, that uh, day is there. So that's what it's a um, optional uh, journeys, um, uh, resort free day. And this resort is a water, water park. So for those who want to just indulge in this, uh, the water sports, uh, it's all up to you. And beyond that, uh, uh, we get yourself uh, ready to just close out, uh, head to Cairo and close out in Cairo. So looking to 
the the adjustments of just adding extra day made it a little smoother in Cairo versus in a situation where you, you don't finish on the last day in Cairo unless you have to head to the airport. So uh, that one day just kind of made it to where it was a smooth out. I looked at this over and over um, as I was trying to just finalize how the flow of it works, especially when, you know, the now cruise dates were changed and just, you know, the flow uh, is nice and uh, we've looked at it. Uh, the P our group in Egypt have looked at it and we just may make one or two tweaks to it and we'll be ready to set off our first journey of a lifetime to uh, Egypt. Uh, so the good thing of it that would make it nice and easy is we have an incredible staff of people there. And I got the man in all kinds of things because uh, me and a, a few of us, uh, we definitely wanted to focus more so on the documentation, get some interviews, get a few things going. So looking for people to just be uh, game for it and just uh, share that experience. All right, uh, and uh, another free day, as I mentioned, uh, that's making sure that all the new schedules are a little more spaced out and a little flows a little easier to where you're not uh, going 100 miles an hour like uh, some of our great uh, Ghana journeys, which is always fun and everything. But even then, you know, you know, we're in the middle. We just we have, you know, we have Coconut Grove or we have a beach resort and just kind of relax. But trying to get it, get everyone to this, um, you know, run fast, slow down and relax and get back up and just be able to literally just experience the entire itinerary uh, to where it's uh, it's this kind of speed. So I love the flow of the itinerary and looking forward to this, uh, you know, making it work. And also uh, when we're coming back, I uh, just want everyone to know that uh, your flight is getting in at 6.30 in New York. So please have your plans on what you're going to do if you're flying back with us on World Air Morocco. So these are things that's that's why I definitely want that want to just be clear and take your time and read through these things. And when we have questions, I just open things up for questions. All right, so let me go back to the top and the next uh, journey I just want to read a itinerary on um, is South Africa. So the South Africa link, uh, the same thing, family. Uh, you're literally just uh, looking at this uh, tour details overview. Uh, what's included, what's not included, uh, itinerary for the full day-to-day, the -day, uh, general terms, um, visa clarification. If you are if you have an American passport, you do not need a visa for South Africa. I think by this time, uh, South Africa is the only country that doesn't need a visa on the schedule because uh, you need one for Ghana, Tanzania. And if you have a Jamaican passport, you don't need one for Ghana, Tanzania. But you, also, but you need one for uh, Kenya and... Uh, also, uh, Egypt that we just talked about. And this is the uh, departure reminder list I uh, mentioned uh, on both, um, you know, both journeys, uh, especially if you're looking to travel within the next, um, you know, one to two months or one to three months, uh, definitely want to look at this list. And as time goes along, especially in the last uh, few weeks, uh, go through it to see if we can just do any kind of touch up and then use the last updated version along with itinerary to go over with the, the, the group itself that's traveling on that uh, specific journey. All right, so South Africa, January 30th to February 10th. I've sent out a new updated newsletter and just uh, want to see more people just uh, share and uh, reach out so we can just add a few more people uh, and make this a nice bigger journey. But uh, regardless, our, our goal is just to, yeah make the uh, journey work so we can just all this uh, enjoy it. And so necessary changes um, after being made, this is how the flow looks. So Thursday, January 30th, uh, we're gonna depart Atlanta to Johannesburg. So meet and greet 6.40 p.m. at departure gate and the flight departs at 8.40 p.m. At, on Delta Airlines directly to Johannesburg. So that's about a 14 to it's usually between 14 and 16 hours going and the same thing coming back. So this, and we can look at the, the flight um, uh, schedule on Delta Airlines to just get the exact uh, hours, but it's uh, definitely around that time frame. So it's uh, no stop in between. So just make sure you're, you're well stretched and uh, stay up all night long. That way, when you um, get on a flight, you sleep for most of it or half of it and watch a few wonderful movies or just bring bring a book and just 
get yourself prepared. So this uh, limits um, the other schedules that we'll talk about. Uh, like we just talked about Egypt, you know, you have, you know, you're going from, you know, you're going from New York to Casablanca to Cairo. In this situation, this we're going from Atlanta directly to Johannesburg. All right, so once we get to, um, yeah, once we get to Johannesburg, uh, January 31st, um, a nice little welcome energy. So we look into, we've made changes from last journey. So uh, the hotels are the uh, Maria Pratia Hotel, and this is Jones, uh, Johannesburg uh, Wanderers. So this is basically, uh, we just kind of moved from the, the city of Johannesburg itself to more of like the outside suburbs. I feel everybody would love this, the, you know, that environment. Uh, we're going to be in the city because in order to get to all of the historical places, we actually have to go back in the same area where the, the you know, uh, the first hotel that we stayed at over the years. Um, so, uh, which is called the uh, Parktonian. Uh, but now uh, it's not that far from, you know, from the sites, uh, but the main thing is um, it just puts you in a more laid back environment. Uh, and especially for those who want to uh, the see the south, you know, the actual suburb part of Johannesburg is just incredibly beautiful. And I guess that's what everyone has to do. When the city gets too mad, you have to literally just build out. Um, and that's, I think this is uh, everywhere like that. So it was a matter of time to just put us closer to, you know, you know, to, you know to more unique scenery. Um, so definitely gonna miss uh, being in the city, but uh, you know, we can always make it out to the city uh, doing social nightlife and also make our rounds around uh, Soweto. So we're gonna we usually set off uh, this journey and this will be the uh, third South Africa journey. The first one was November, 2019, then uh, December, 2023. And now here we are, January, February, 2025. So we're gonna set it off at uh, La City Cultural Village. And that is, there's always this. Uh, there's a there's a beautiful list of videos I have of every single uh, village that they present there. The cultural the cultural uh, village of the city, and this is my second time I uh, recording it, and it's just always an incredible uh, experience. And these videos are just well details because the tour guide provide just a great explanation. So you know we just just you know focus and uh, lock in the video, and it's it's there if you just ever want to check it out. Uh, very impressive. I mean, these are playlists you just play on your TV and just let them. Now they'll just play. They'll just play for days. Uh, it's just that much of our content. So I'll go from one to the next. So after we finish uh, the uh, cultural village, where we just basically get an introduction into the uh, Southern African uh, culture and historical uh, village and uh, historical uh, nationalities. Uh, we're gonna make our way to Constitutional Hill, which is an historic, historical, historic uh, prison, which is now part of a um, uh, historical presentation, along with also a courthouse. Uh, so these are two of the most uh, dynamic. Uh, this uh, introduction into South Africa, I would say, uh, for those days, and then the next uh, day is also we're gonna continue on to the same situation. Uh, Sunday, February second, uh, uh, apartheid museum, uh, full tour of Soweto including uh, Hector Peterson Museum. So that is the chain of this uh, recordings that we have on the last um, South Africa video. We just a uh, whole lot of this uh, beautiful group pictures and uh, the t-shirt itself, uh, the one I have on last time are uh, red. Uh, that was just a perfect, uh, excuse me, uh, black. is a perfect combination of uh, red, black, and green. And, uh, and that was a uh, part of uh, the new big design. Looking at the... Uh, and it's uh, right there behind me, and I've been modifying the other ones uh, based on that size. So looking forward to doing something uh, for uh, Egypt, and I work the colors a little different this time for uh, South Africa. All right, so those are two long days um, where, you know, we get you up early, and we're just going to knock out all of these uh, historical, cultural places, and that's going to get you full-fledged into this, the energy of South Africa, right? Uh, so Monday, uh, February 3rd, Pilanisburg uh, National Park. And if it's a situation where we, uh, where, when, I, when I talk with a tour guide, if we come up with a game plan where we can switch some of these dates if we need it, uh, based on the movements of traffic and the movements of how we need to move, uh, we'll just make that work. Uh, and um, example, if uh, it may work out better, Monday, going to the Apartheid Museum in Soweto, that will work. And then Pilanisburg, which is a national park, always perfect for Sunday. So these are some of the flows uh, that um, you know, you, 
end up probably looking at and making a few changes. But for the most part, um, hundred percent everything that's in there is just what we experienced the last time and looking to do the same thing minus one or two things um over the years and just the change of uh hotels and one or two flows. All right, so uh, that is the third day. And then after that, uh, free day in Johannesburg. So good time to, if you want to just check out this, the other surroundings uh, in the suburbs of Johannesburg, perfect time just to get up earlier if you just need to make a move to the city to do certain things or some additional shopping, perfect situation. Then we're going to close out and then we have a round trip on South African Airways uh, for the uh, domestic flight. So this is a one-way flight that will go from Johannesburg uh, to Cape Town. Because once we're in Cape Town and the journey is over, uh, instead of going back to Johannesburg to get the flight on Delta, uh, the, the, the flight actually you know, lands in Johannesburg, but it also connects in uh, Cape Town. So we'll end up catching the same flight that we came in on. It will be you know, leaving out of Cape Town, so we'll be able to catch it then. So we we'll avoid having to go back uh, to Johannesburg. So... That was uh, the difference between the uh, first and second journey. The first journey, we ended up doing a round trip, but then later on, Delta added to where they started leaving. You know, they're flying to Johannesburg, but they leave out back to the U.S. from Cape Town. Very unique schedule. Um, and, and that is uh, the genius of, of uh, you know, Delta planning. Uh, you know, because when you fly into Johannesburg, most time people stay in Johannesburg and then they make their way to Cape Town. So that saved them some time, a ticket, and also you get to this, have a few extra hours. All right, the uh, Cape Town schedule, um, I did have it broken up because um, of the uh, end of the year, beginning of the year, and then different ceremonies that they have, uh, have in uh, Cape Town. But as far as this time, I literally just um, just kept the same flow um, and realized that having this, uh, this uh, in-between day um, makes it a lot uh, smoother. So once we all get to uh, Cape Town, we'll just get you checked in and then uh, you can just enjoy the waterfront. Uh, you, your hotel will be in walking distance of the waterfront. Um, you'll be able to just enjoy it right away. And then uh, we get right to uh, doing a Robin Allen and the township tour on the uh, 6th. And then we just break for just a nice layback day where there's nothing on the schedule. And then on Saturday, we just uh, get you excited and ready for the uh, Table Mountain uh, tour. And then Sunday, um, uh, noon checkout, but uh, we just close out, have some uh, nice dinner, and then make it our way back to the uh, airport uh, to Cape Town for our Delta flight uh, directly back. So that, uh, and then um, it's, you know, it's a simple thing with uh, the, the the five days in Johannesburg and the four in uh, Cape Town. And it's, just, it's one of the more nice organized itinerary with you know, it's, it's movement, but uh, you're looking at two hotels. Uh, most of the other journeys have uh, three. Um, Ghana, Tanzania, but uh, Kenya has two. So the the middle day, as far as a free day, it, it, and then with a flight leave out later on, that's kind of, uh, with the last two itineraries, it's created a balance to where it just flows a lot easier and just making sure, you know, we're not just always uh, moving and we just have time to just um, slow down. So those are my newest uh, itineraries as far as uh, this, making things uh, organized. You just, as time go along, you just you know, organize it and get it um, to flow better and just make adjustments. That's what we always do when you, uh, you see me on the journey. I'm all, if I'm in deep thinking, you just analyze and think real life. And that's how we have grown and uh, got to where these uh, journeys and especially itineraries are uh, beautiful. So finally, I'm going to stop uh, screen sharing and uh, we're going to see if... Uh, check to see who have questions, uh, especially for the Egypt and the South Africa journey. And um, the same as other journeys, um, you can always ask our question. All right, so family, I went over um, the two itineraries on our next two journeys that I definitely want you to make sure you're prepared for uh, Egypt and South Africa. So check in to see if uh, anybody have any questions. Uh, all you have to do is unmute yourself. All right, so do we do need to check with individuals um, and if I call you and you don't want to unmute yourself, that's absolutely fine. So hello, uh, Teal. Uh, I uh, want to know if you're ready for this journey and um, thank you for being open to the adjusted dates and um, big or small, we're going to make this journey happen. Um, oh, man. Yes, yes. Um, that's the life of a traveler, be able to adjust and move forward. So uh, 
I'm all for it. I really would, you know, being there for New Year's, I was kind of hyped for it. So, you yeah. know, God's willing, we, we're still going in it in January. So we'll be able to still be able to celebrate the new year. And But I'm excited to go back with you again, brother. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the biggest thing that you're not going to miss, um, I mean, it was nice to be there for the New Year's is that uh, you're going to, you're not going to miss all the traffic and the lines <laughs> and, 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 Waiting forever to get some food and all those things. So uh, looking to experience uh, this time frame, especially I was trying to just make sure that we get more of, uh, more of it into February, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Looking forward. Thanks for the, making the adjustments. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for being flexible. So family, uh, South Africa is open for business. And um, unfortunately, Egypt is closed. Um, I could only add one person that they are a single female looking to share a room. Other than that, I have there's literally no space, and uh, so that is all locked out, locked in. And it's not because of myself; it's because that's how they move in Egypt. You're on a cruise ship, so you're moving around. Those things lock, lock in. But as far as South Africa, we have flexibility, and this uh, definitely want to get more people to join us and uh, you know enjoy that energy. So uh, Judy Austin, uh, JC. Uh, the Count, Shirley, Loria, and a uh, few others. Unmute yourself, uh, just seeing if you have any questions, anything you want to talk about, anything stood out in the itinerary that I went over or the newsletter. Yes, family, everybody, everybody excited. I guess I went over too much. Um, or maybe it's all on the website. So what I'm going to do, family, I'm going to, uh, once you're ready, uh, just unmute yourself. I'm going to do another screen sharing, and this is going to be for. I wear this thing at. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, go ahead. You are muted. You are a lot of feedback. So family, this is the YouTube page. Uh, once you click on any of those links and it takes you there. All right, let me see who is uh, open. Akubi, that's you. Um, let me know if you have something to say. Or if you muted yourself by accident, but... Uh, Got feedback. For me. All right, uh, could we have a question? Nope. Uh, yeah, unless you have a question, I'd uh, unmute yourself so we can reduce the uh, feedback. If you can just click on mute. Uh, I think you're right. 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 I think you Right, so what I'll do is now that's whoever's on uh, mute. They say they might be in their electronic that's getting the feedback. That's a family. I'm just gonna put everybody on mute, family, and you ready to talk? Just unmute yourself, but make sure that uh, you're somewhere quiet. All right, so family, back on the uh, YouTube page, uh, once you click on the newsletter, the website, or just um, type in um, for money time or Africa for Africans, it'll eventually just uh, take you to the uh, YouTube uh, link. And so usual got all of the uh, social pages here. And that's how long I've been on YouTube. Yeah. 
2007, uh, this is before all this thing, all these things became popular, and that's the amount of videos, almost uh, 4,500 videos, and a whole lot of photos and pictures, all these networks, and I'm um, going to be loading up them with more photos uh, this month. All right, so uh, videos, shorts, live, playlists, um, and so that's where our uh, videos are, live, shorts, and videos, and then... You have option for all videos. But the main thing I always wanted to uh, share with us, uh, especially those who are looking to travel to some of the countries that we have on here, these are the uh, list of videos. So some have uh, lots of videos still uploading. So got to pray about a lot more for Ghana and got the rest of the videos, um, library of videos all uploaded. And this, the rest would be uh, Morocco and then the other half of our Ghana journey videos. And beyond that, um, from South Africa all the way back, all those are complete catalog of videos and even scroll down uh, more videos. And it's just, oh, we have documentation. Uh, not expecting anybody to watch all these videos, but for those who want to watch, enjoy. And the last of the videos I'll put up and I'll put them also on this playlist is our Black Star Pan-African Community video, showing some of the houses that are built, showing the beach area, showing us a future of a vision that, uh, you know, working towards, um, you know, working towards uh, building, figuring out, making it work, and just establishing what we need to establish as we look to this expand and have our own, you know, have a place where we can just um, move and connect with like-minded people and kind of just build on to what we have built so far. And then more wonderful playlists. And then some of these are older playlists, like one of the classic ones, uh, Ethiopia, May 2017. And this is the oldest one, Egypt, uh, 2004. So the quality is not all of that. Then uh, the Brazil, one and only in. And then the original South Africa journey, November 2019. And that's before. All the stuff went uh, crazy with. Uh, and then all of the, uh, the uh, conference calls are all listed. These are all the ones I've done in the past. And some are long, some are a little short, but. Um, Anywhere from one to two hours. If we have a lot to talk about, uh, we'll share it. But um, these are just classic presentations of just sharing information. But it's um, over a decade of this uh, the conference call. So everything is just uh, well documented. And uh, more multiple playlists. And then we have different topics and things we get into. So some things people may feel and some things people may not feel. Some things may be controversial. Some things may be just basic uh, roots and culture. Uh, we have no limitation on this, uh, trying to share information and trying to connect. Um, but yeah, these are some uh, live videos and some of the um, older playlists on subjects as deep, some are not deep, some are, and some are just uh, basic. But uh, these are the diverse um, documentation and things we have, we have shared. So, and it's more playlists than this. It's, it's, it's just uh, the issues that. YouTube only allows you to add so many. So that is a collection of playlists and check out what you like and whatever you don't like, uh, change the video. Uh, some things you may feel, some things you may not, uh, but um, that's you know, my presentation of this myself in Africa uh, or in, in a Pan-African world, just connecting and networking. Because some of the videos are here in Atlanta and some of the videos are different uh, functions and places. So um, not a whole lot. Most of the documentation is just the experience on, on traveling to the African continent. So family, uh, for those who have questions, uh, you can just um, unmute yourself and let me know what questions you may have. And all you have to do, family, is unmute yourself. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, go ahead. For the Ghana trip, um, if you have medications that you're bringing, do they have to be um, packaged any way particular or just in the bottle? Yeah, just in the uh, bottle, and um, you want to make sure you keep your medi uh, medications with you physically. Uh, basically, keep it on your in your check bags, and don't don't put a situation into where um, 
you know, one of the one of your put it in your carry on bags, I should say, and make sure okay. that uh, if you have to give up one of your bags, you make sure that uh, you know, keep it, you know, you keep like a backpack and make sure it's in your backpack. That way you can avoid any situations to where your bags get delayed or something happen and things like that. Okay. And then electronics as well. When you bring electronics, you have to bring a, a converter or something. Or will, where we're staying, will they have the right, the right um, connection? Now, when you travel internationally, whatever we usually just recommend to anyone that's traveling with us to Africa is uh, bring your... Uh, bring your um, international um, get an international travel adapter and a travel universal adapter. extension a universal extension cord and okay. somebody have a loud background okay universal okay all right then uh, Loria what's the other question that was it just the medication and the electronics all right, cool. So yeah, that's uh, your TV. If uh, you can unmute us, you can join back the uh, the call for questions. I uh, just uh, Bomani. pause any audio in the background. Uh, go ahead, uh, go ahead, uh, Jacob. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I understand that is a lady from my hometown is traveling to Egypt with me, and I like to get to know. Um, I want to know if she's uh, traveling the same flight I'm traveling from Savannah. Died. Uh, I would have to check both of your tickets as far as uh you'd have to tell me what time are you leaving um it's uh Judia. What time are you leaving from um uh from Savannah? I'm leaving at a my take my flight is eleven forty five. Right, uh, Judy, Judy, remember what flight you're on? Uh did I get you on eleven o'clock? I couldn't uh, always connect both back with both of you and look it up. You have to uh, meet yourself. Uh, when you look at the screen, uh, you'll see that you're muted. Uh, the mic is on. The mic has an X on it. But uh, yeah, I, Jacob, I think uh, I'm leaving um 12 o'clock. I know I'm leaving kind of late in the evening. I have to look at that ticket and give it definitely. There's only, definite two, time. It's only two flights on there. So uh, the count, I'll just... Um, I know it's around uh, 11. Uh, I know. Count. Yeah, um, Olivia. Um, yeah, because you got your ticket uh, separate. Uh, it it should be close by, but at least uh, when you reach to New York, um, your flights are not separate. So I will uh, take a look at it and then see if uh, you, you may be on the same flight. And then if okay, it's, that's uh, cool. if, uh, Judy, if you need yeah. to, if you if you know if you want to be on the same flight, um, I can always just um uh, go to your Delta log on and then see the options for. You know, for basically connecting one of you to the other flight, so to make it uh, work. So if you're okay with that, I'll just uh, I'll yes, it's no problem. Uh, yes, I, I'm fine. I'm fine yeah, with so that. Both tickets are the both cabin tickets are main cabin tickets, so there's no flight change. There's no um, there's no change. There's no change booking fee basically. So you know, a lot of times when you do the tickets, the best thing also people do is to do the. Uh, you know, do do the ticket to where you can change your, you know, you can change your flight. The only thing is that naturally, if a flight is a little more, they charge a difference. But in this situation, I'll be able to change one of you to the other's flight, and it'll and it will just work out, and then I'll just send an update. Okay. So Sounds I'll take good. a look at that tonight, yeah. and I'll send you both a message. I said that's cool, with both of you. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because uh, Judy, uh, Jacob would ask us about you. Um, is is like another lady in um, there's a lady in Savannah. I was like, it's Judy. So I guess so. You you may live close to each other. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I live in East Savannah, mm -hmm. like Willow Point Par area. I live in Paradise Park, Southside. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I live in East Savannah, so I heard of Paradise Park, but I have to, you know, I don't know. But I'm in East Savannah. <laughs> anyway. okay. It's up Montgomery Crossroads. Uh, um, um, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like going towards the old mall of Candler Hospital. There you go. Yeah. Up. I Absolutely. mean, not Candler Hospital, but um, St. Joe. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So I will also send both of you this uh, the WhatsApp message and then both of you in the group. So we'll keep on networking. But since I have both of you on the line, um, 
I'm going to be getting with you uh, next uh, few days so we can get uh, your tickets uh, closed out and make sure that um, everything connects with your domestic flights and make sure that you have logged in and make sure you select your seats and just get that closed out. So I'm just uh, working on getting that done for everyone. That way uh, everyone is clear. It's uh, I do understand it's a lot of movement. You're leaving from a domestic part of the U.S. Then you get into uh, JFK in New York and then you got to go to another terminal to get on Royal Air Morocco. Yes, we're in Egypt. We're flying on Egypt Air internal, so it's something that um also going to talk talk with us as a group private, but also just reaching out to individuals just to make sure that everything looks good on the tickets, everything is clear, everything makes sense. You have it printed out. Uh, that way we're way prepared. November twentieth, and we can just all be right there in JFK, New York, and just be ready. And then also, uh. For both of you coming back, uh, the flight gets in 6.30. So uh, unless they come up with a new flight that leave out a little bit later, then uh, both of your flight leave out in the morning back to Savannah. So I'll also, and both of you should have the same flight back to Savannah since um, okay. it's always to get you the earliest flight. Okay. So that's the only thing um, that, uh, I've, that's the only thing I just, one of the things I don't like about the Royal Air Morocco flight, if you take taking a European airline to get you back in the afternoon or the morning, uh, based on flow, uh, so I just I only thing I just don't like those old layovers. Those I when I traveled last time I had long layovers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then my flight from Savannah, um, to Atlanta, we got the lead in Savannah, and when I got to Atlanta, my flight had left me, so I had to wait long hours for another wow. flight. So the good thing about <laughs> uh, your flight to um uh, from Savannah to uh the JFK's uh direct flight. And then the same thing back, so that's one good. But uh, as you can see, you have you know you have the sequence uh, from that domestic flight, international flight, and also the flight internal Egypt. So it is something I'm literally just um, uh, I'm just checking people off as I call everybody and go through it with them, and uh, yeah. make sure that you're not, make sure you're clear. And I mean that's a it's a two different flight sequence. So and make sure everybody clear about terminals and things like that. So the good thing of it is all of our flights gets in early enough to where any of us trying to proceed from another terminal. Uh, most of us will be in Terminal 4 Delta, and then we have to go to Terminal 1 uh, Egypt. And then even that, you know, we have to just verify those things. So when we do the private conference call, usually about uh, two weeks before we travel, we, all of these uh, details we'll go over to make sure everyone is clear on it, make sure everybody is, if you need to select meals, if you need to request wheelchairs, if you need to do certain things, you, did, you have it. You have it done, and if you need to just get your electronics out uh, order, you can have those things order, medicine, things like that. And so this is all all the part of like the last 30 days, that's basically this final preparation where we just go through all and everything. I uh, even just be on a conference call. Uh, this is a general conference call, but you know, always want to share some of those details also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Judy, uh, what are you most looking forward to um, along with reuniting with your good friend, B, which thank you, Sister B. Um, it's a cool. We appreciate uh, connecting me with Judy. And yeah, Judy I haven't seen her in a while. It'll be it'll be good seeing her. You know, I think the world of her. She don't know that, but I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and I admire her a lot. You know, that's why I decided to take this trip. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. She cool. get me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> There you go, Akubi. Um, appreciate the motivation and um, you know, your inspiration. Akubi, can you hear us? Hello, do you hear me? Yes, we can hear yeah. you. Wow, beautiful. Oh, fine. Well, the floor is yours, Akubi. You go. <laughs> and, and Akubi, are you ready to go to Egypt? And uh, this is what, your fifth time going to Egypt? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> well, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm I got ready. 35 days. I got 30. Let's see. Well, my, this is our third trip together. Uh yes. Third absolutely. or fourth. And hopefully this is a lot cooler. Trip. Yeah, this is our fourth trip. I'm waiting for the journey of a lifetime again. No, my <laughs> God. This is my first. I'm trying to get Thank the heck you. out of New York. Yes, yeah, so That's Jacob it. and uh, Judy, what you looking forward to? I'm trying to get the heck out of Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, At least for a little while. Brother, I, know. I know. Brother Bamani, I've, I've been to Ghana and I had a great time. And I just fell in love with the, the whole continent of Africa. 
And I wish if I, yeah. I wish I can visit every country in the continent of Africa. Nice. That's my dream. Mm -hmm. You know, I really do. And I got one more question. Sure. What's the weather's like there? You know, yeah. I the weather. It seemed like it's, it was saying like seventy-eight uh, degrees, and just trying to stream this year. I think. Let's let's even let's let's see what Google say. You know what I mean? <laughs> Summertime is hot. <laughs> I love it. Been there, done that. <laughs> Really when, is it when is it never hot in Egypt, uh, Akubi? You've been in. I, I know, right? And and humidity, you, um, just right for me. <laughs> the humidity. It's the Egypt too. temperature, seventy-eight mm -hmm. degrees out of Cairo. It's about the same this year. That's, that's it, was like same, it, was, it, was, it was the same when I checked a few days ago. That's so, like in the month of November. So basically, the good thing about it, it's I noticed the November journeys are uh, it, it, it's not so hot, hot. Uh, right. And. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I just came from Ghana and it was not so hot itself. It was about right. It's still in the rainy season, Bomani, till the end of November. So maybe, uh, but you know, it works out. But uh, yeah, go ahead, um, um, Akubi, if you can uh, just uh, share with us your experience in Egypt and what you're looking forward to. And just uh, give us some, um, if you can just give us some preparation details or just give us some advice on, you know, since you're the more so Egypt expert, and then you know, share with us things that we shouldn't miss or or we yeah, should look out please. for Well, you know, when I was in two, six, 2016, that was the time when they were building the new um, museum because mm -hmm. it was Carol Museum, and this museum is supposed to be even larger. So I want to definitely go and see that. I want to go inside that because the Cairo Museum, as you know, is very amazing. And this one is uh, even larger. So I'm looking forward for that. I'm looking forward to going back on the camera rise and see if I you know, remember some of the people that I knew for those three years in a row. So the camera ride is very interesting. I think they'll get a kick out of that, but I'm ready to get back on it. <laughs> it's fun. And um, bargaining you know, with the guys, everybody trying to sell something, you know, that's the African way. And you know I'm a bargainer. So I'm ready for that. Yeah, absolutely, Akubi, we taught you well. I, wait, wait, I taught you all well. <laughs> Remember, you all were paying for a lot of items. I was getting a lot of stuff free. Remember? <laughs> you mean you mean them all, not you all? Well, a lot of things. You all. I, I just put it this way. Many people will put pay in the prices that the people really want to sell it at. And you saw some of the things that I got. So. But then that's a skill, too. You know, we all got different talents. We have to I use them. Absolutely. Uh, go ahead and uh, continue. Um, let us know what we're looking forward to seeing in um, in Egypt. And uh, if you're going to share some of your best highlights, uh, and just tell us a little bit about Egypt in general. Well, the original people, the Nubians, our folks. You see, you see them different places, but you see them most of the most of the time in Aswan. You know, when you go on those, you know, different islands where you take the felucas and stuff. So that's the treat for me. So I'm in, you know, looking forward to seeing a lot of people and a lot of the children and stuff that I remember. And the principal with the schoolmaster, the schoolmaster, brother, Wally, and all the groups that I remembered since 2016. I'm anticipating seeing them. Even I have a lot of friends that work at the uh, Movenpick Hotel, even though we're not staying at that hotel. So I know a lot of people at that hotel, the Hotel of the Pyramids in Cairo, we're not staying there. And several other hotels that I stayed at, you know, at before. So there's a good amount of people that I remember from past years. But even if I don't see all of them, I know I will see many of them. So I anticipate that. The guys from the jewelry stores, the guys that, you know, um, show you how you can make your own perfume and you see how um, Chanel and Kevin Klein's, how they got the oils and stuff for there, pumped it up with a lot of water and alcohol, the packages, and then charge a high price here in the States. But when you see you know, the oils that come from the plants in the natural state is really nice. Um, the alabaster stone, see how they do that, how they do the papyrus or papyrus, like people say, where paper initially came from. That's very, very interesting. You see how they wove um, the woven um, Egyptian rugs. That's another thing that's very interesting. And they show you how, you know, you do that, you know, with the different um, yarns and stuff. Um, it's just so much, so much, you know, so I can go on and on.
Well, cool. We appreciate the intro and uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, seeing if anybody else wants to share anything uh, as far as us, any of the journeys that we have on the schedule. Yeah, just... All right, Jai, you want to come on and introduce yourself, say anything? And uh, greetings, uh, Carol. Greetings, Carol and Joyce. So we have a few people from the journey coming up. Uh, Shirley, if you have something you want to share, um, and if um, you want to let us know what you're looking forward to, uh, go ahead. Uh, yourself, JC. Just click the um, mute button and just unmute yourself or click, or click the unmute button. Mm. Yes, uh, greetings, wow. uh, JC and Shirley. <laughs> Hello, greetings to you also. Yes, I just, I, I'm just excited. I hear so much good information and I looked at a little bit of stuff on the computer and I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm just looking forward to a wonderful time. So I did, I did kind of want it. I had a question about, uh, what is the best card to have? Because I, I went online. I was just going to check a seat. And um, they want you to pay for certain seats on the plane. And I don't know what credit card. Uh, do they accept American Express over there? or? Uh, yes, they expect it. Uh, and you know, once you select a seat, and as far as uh, the uh, Royal Air Maroc flight, you can uh, just uh, check out by using any card, but if there's an issue where your card gets blocked or something, I uh, usually get a message uh, via your bank app or a uh, text message, or you can just uh, let your bank know that you're trying to make an international charge, especially if you're not used to making international charges on a regular basis. Okay, now the important question is, is it a surcharge? Who, who give a um, surcharge? Because no, I know one time, uh, the the United States didn't have a surcharge, but Africa did. The Senegal Gambia trip. So, so is it a check, when you when the, so when you when you check out and you select your seats and if you want to pay for seats, just look at the the flow of the taxes or or things like that. Uh, as far as I know, it just charge you for the seat and maybe some charges are included, in it, but. You can also get a complimentary seat when you get to the airport and you check in with Royal Air Maroc. It's just their psychology of trying to get people to spend more money with them. So that's the situation. But if you do want a more comfortable seat, or if you do feel like you want to be able to select seats before you actually check in, then that's why, why they have that system set up. Okay. So we we always have a first aid kit and a flashlight, right? Right. That's a good idea to have. Uh, yes. And uh, on that preparation list that we have, uh, these are some of the uh, ideal things as uh, while you're talking, I'm going to go into uh, screen sharing mode and go to the uh, website. So uh, while we're on the uh, website, uh, let's click back on Egypt. It's the right. Bomani. Uh, yes, Akubi, go ahead. <laughs> yes, like, make sure they know that have some toilet paper, have some wipes also. Because sometimes, you know, when you're in Egypt, sometimes when you go places, um, they may have it, they may not. And then also, if they have it, they'll be surprised if one of the ladies, you know, you know, charge you, even if you have like soap or stuff like that. So sometimes, you know, they do that. And when we went to the other museum, the original museum, um, you know, we went in and they were like charging. I think it came out to like a dollar or something like that. There's always ways to get around that also. Four people go together, that's 25 cents each. Pay that dollar, that's it. As opposed to you going ahead and take it upon yourself to do the dollar unless you want to do that. But over a period of time, that can add up. So that's I'm just good saying. I'm just saying. I don't pay. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> assalamu alaikum and keep going. But then yeah. sometimes I do too. It just depends on the situation. But we had an incident when we were going by train the last time. And one lady that was with the group, she didn't pay. And this lady actually followed her around inside, you know, the restroom and outside. It was getting ready to go with an altercation. But 
you know, I'm just saying. Just be well, prepared. Let's out my yeah, Pepto-Bismol, little basic stuff like that. You'll probably be all right. But, you know, have stuff like that. But the wipes, you know, for sure. And the toilet paper, for sure. I, I, I'm more doing. concerned about uh, how, the, how the credit cards work because... Well, they, credit cards, you're going to have transaction fees. It depends. American Express, what, when it comes to the airlines and stuff, they should go, all the airlines take care of all the credit cards. When so American Express, yeah. Visa, MasterCard. Uh, some of the times, a lot of times when it came to MasterCard and Visa, you normally, well, what I did, I would let them know a week before I leave, and then I let them know the day before I leave. Well, hey, and it depends on your bank and stuff, too. Then I went over there, and I was getting some things, and then it was saying decline, decline. And I had zero, um, you know, balance and everything. And I'd already called them. So you always have a backup plan. So I slapped out the American Express. Hey, it was no problem. American Express go. It was no problem. So it depends. So if it was me, which I always do, I'm going to have my credit cards and I'm going to have cash also. Preferable the large mm -hmm. note because you get the large value. So we're talking about all 50s or all 100s. And I do that when I'm in Ghana too. So any of those places there, I do that. And I always have backup plans. And I have singles on the side just in case. If I'm giving like a little tip or something like that. And Mr. Bomani could tell you, I'll come well prepared. Doesn't matter the country. But now when I call Visa and our um, MasterCard, because we just got back from um, Portugal, the 13th. And when we went there, when I called, they were saying, oh, it's no problem. America Express, you know, you never have to call them and tell them anything because, you know, they A1, they charge... They have the hard, the how, sorry, they have the, the highest fees. That's why some places don't want to take American Express, but they'll give results just like that. You don't have to never let them know anything. As far as MasterCard and Visa, when I call, they claim everything, you know, was basically fine, like they say before. And then when we got over to Portugal, <laughs> there were some problems. But then we got everything straightened out. But a lot of them didn't want to take the American Express again because of the fee. And they will say that they, you know, take and accept all the credit cards. But that's not always the case. So always have your backup plan ready. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. believe in I believe in calling uh, the cars. Yeah, call them and see what happens. But American Express, they're gonna tell you that's okay. You don't have to call, but do it anyway and see what happens. Oh, yeah, like mention, I said, I've never had a, a problem with American Express. Want to use it, certain places want to the fees. don't want to do it because of their high fees. So certain places won't take American Express, and then others well, places will. right here in the United States won't take it. So this is uh, the highest yeah. fees. What else? Yeah, they have the highest fees, but they give the results. Just like that. And I've had American Express since 1986. Visa's used the, the easiest card to uh, run. Right. The Visa is the master. Right. They accept it more places. That's true. Yeah. But American mm -hmm. Express, say you need to get a new card or whatever, it's normally three days. The other places, when you get your card, it's like five to seven. Okay. And then American Express, they will ask you, is it okay three days? I said, no, 24 hours right there, even on a Sunday. They're the only ones that do that. So within 24 hours, a new card or a replacement card. And I've had it since 86. So okay. Visa and MasterCard, they don't care how good a customer you are. Huh? I said, okay, that's all I got right now. All right. That's uh, all right. Call, call and the, other thing, the other thing is um, if you want to know the exact fees or what they're going to charge you if you're using your card, uh, this is the same thing. This uh, make sure you're clear with the bank uh, because they do have bank charges. Um, right. If you right, and they will have them by the time you come back. They will have it on your on your bill because, like I said, we just came back from Portugal and I was looking at you know at the bills and stuff, and they had it. They had those different fees up there, and then they tell you before there were fees too. But in Portugal, it was like some cents. I think something was might have been three something, four something, but a lot of it was like eighty something cents, seventy something cents, like that. But again, and they add up. Right, up. that's what I was gonna say. They add up too, mm -hmm. and also it depends on you how you know how many things you're gonna buy, how many places you're gonna buy. Because some people go and travel, they make to get two, three items, four, five items. To me, it depends on the price and stuff. <clears throat> I get a little bit more than that, but it depends on how often you're gonna use it. Because again, you got your backup because you don't have to necessarily use your credit card. Again, that's where the large notes when you convert the money over. Because some places, depending on where you are, especially like if you're in Ghana, you're in the African continent, Bermani um, would tell you, for those that are going there, your large bills, your 50s and your 100s. The credit cards very seldom, they're going to take it. So if you're in the market in different places, that's where your money comes. And you, the, hard, the higher the notes, that's the 50s and the 100s, the better results you get.
nobody gonna be willing to take no twenty dollars, no one dollar, and five and ten dollars. That's basically out of the question because you will get a low rate. And that's for all of the continent of Africa. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, I could. Mm -hmm. Appreciate the third. Look like yeah. I'll see. Look like I'll see you all on the twentieth. <laughs> uh, JC, you want to share anything? No, I'm I'm fine. Thank you. Absolutely. So, family, this is the list right here. So, I uh, posted it on the uh, WhatsApp page. But uh, just like anything else, once you're on the website uh, and you click on the Egypt link, you see the preparation details. So this is a long list of preparation, and uh, mm -hmm. this is also part of what I use when we're, t you know, when we doing our private conference call, or you know, even the last conference call that we do before we uh, travel, uh, and just uh, make sure this is updated, and we just go through, um, go through it, and make sure update the uh, current our uh, currency. So this is um, the full preparation list. So definitely just recommend uh, those who are looking to travel, take your time, read through it, and then you know, we can also go through it together. I try to make sure I hear from everyone that actually want to share something or talk. Uh, Joy or Carol, uh, you can just, uh, if you want to, if you can unmute yourself, you know, even give an introduction or let us know what you're looking forward to on the uh, Egypt journey or anyone else that's uh, traveling with us on another journey. Let us know what you're looking forward to, or let us let us know uh, uh, if you have anything to share. So the uh, line is open. All right, so family, I'll uh, just uh, breeze through this. So 1, 2, 30. So 1 talks about the link on the uh, website where you get all the details. Uh, 2 talks about gratuities and um, what uh, goes into it as far as uh, each of the journeys. And that's $100 per person, and that covers all uh, group tips. Right. Uh, 3, I uh, just uh, always recommend uh, whenever you come to visit uh, Africa, do not come with a romanticized notion um, mm -hmm. be uh, disappointed and unnecessarily frustrated. Just come with an open mind. Come to enjoy the itinerary and just come and just be positive and just you know you're you're on a you're on a tour journey. So you know whatever you want to contribute or donate, uh, do it. But uh, you're there to just uh, get your you know connect and enjoy your experience and enjoy your holiday and enjoy your reconnection, uh, whichever way um individuals may look at it. Uh, for um, well the uh. Tickets on Royal Air Rock. So right now I'm just going through tickets with uh, everyone and looking just to close out the one or two last uh, this uh, week. That way we can just all be clear on tickets and how to access them from the different website where they fly on Delta and then definitely want to make sure everybody log into Royal Air Morocco. So I am uh, working my way down the list and we're almost uh, finished. Uh, number five, uh, make sure you secure all of your documents, and that's what we'll be talking about. Also, make sure you have everything printed out, everything organized, and I'll I'll get you your um, Egypt visa. Uh, the visas are thirty days, so I want them to actually put them in at the beginning of the month. That way, we you know when we get it, uh, we're good for the thirty days. Especially if somebody needs to stay back longer, but um, all of us uh, is set to leave December second, so. Um, the visas for when you enter the country. So, but that's uh, Egypt, though, 30, 30 day visa, which is absolutely fine, especially if you're just looking to enjoy a nice uh, Egypt tour. Uh, six, talk about the uh, same or similar thing, uh, this organizing your travel documents and being clear on dates and times. Uh, eight, uh, check bags and carry on bags. Make sure when you log into the uh, airlines, you're clear about the check bags and also the carry on bags. And if you have to pay extra for certain things, just make sure you're clear on that. Most of us who have domestic flights, um, uh, like I have my domestic flights on Delta from Atlanta to New York, and you know you have the baggage situation where you're traveling international with two bags. So for those of us that are on our route, you just have to be clear that uh, you have to pay for that extra bag. 
or whichever way the airlines work. Some people are flying on American Airlines or other airlines to get to New York. And as usual, it's always arrive. Um, I usually need to change this at uh, three to four hours. Uh, in this case, uh, all of our connection flights to New York um, has been, you know, or most of it has been verified that you're going to get there in the afternoon. So uh, we can just always you know, connect and you know, have lunch um, uh, together and then we just do our meetup. Uh, but that's and that's what we did last time when we traveled to Liberia and Morocco. Um, we just we all got in early to New York and just got that same flight. But the connection is a nice short connection in Casablanca. It's not like our Liberia flight where we had this. I don't know. It just seemed like long. It was like ten hours or something like that. But the, you know, you know, we got a hotel accommodations from the uh, airline, so that you know, whenever you fly more than eight hours, uh, for those who ever want to book something. You could purposely book your stay for, like example, Ethiopian Airlines uh, for a 20-hour layover in um, Addis Ababa if you have that option for the that situation. And, you know, you get your complimentary hotel and so on, and you could just pay for a tour and things like that. So you can always make these uh, bookings uh, work for you, especially if you want to do a little bit more. All right, uh, 10, um, when packing luggage, just you know, just be mindful of what you're packing, if, especially if you're going to be shopping and buying a lot. And if you're going to bring things, just bring things that you can give away. Uh, number 11, uh, this is always a recommendation uh, when you travel with us, um, the combination of whites and also this red, black, and green. That way, when we have different ceremonies and we're doing different things, we can just dress the flow. But a T-shirt's more than likely we just make it to wear. Uh, Kobe, you want, to, want us to do some black T-shirts? Black and gold. Well, you know that's my favorite color. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it you know, me some because you always ask me about black t-shirts. I say, you know, I do have other <laughs> colors like like blue, green, red, gold. Which, you never uh, go wrong with black. You know that. Yeah, the last black one <laughs> was uh that uh South African jer uh jersey that's uh behind me. Um t-shirt that's behind me. That was uh it matches up with the uh you know my kente cloth. Uh but I was looking at the colors and um you can make a black t-shirt with um uh, with some gold. Let me see. You're gonna end up doing what you want to do anyway. So why are you asking me? <laughs> so, but, you know, it's one Scorpio yeah. to another. You know. <laughs> I take feedback, you know. I'm the, I'm, I'm Good the, luck with that one. I'm the designer. Sometimes you know you just up and you design or something, you know, and just like the book, I don't even know how the book is gonna look, but you just up and you just like you know you just keep on doing what you're doing because it looks good to me. You get into art. <laughs> they are, they enjoy the book. You get into bow money. Did a good job. Artist mode, and then you just you come up with the designs. You know it's incredible. Mm -hmm. but it was excellent. For Ghana, excellent. Never run out of you know the design. Um, so I'm looking at this one back here. It's same foundation. This uh, just got to figure out what you know, the the logo could be gold. And uh, Egypt, other colors are red, right? So yeah, I think they got a white in it too. Hmm. Well, President I mean, Bomani in colors. the same place. He's yeah. in the room. He's in, in there playing with his, his, his fancy gaming computer built by Bomani. You know, I know. I just had to ask him. Tell him I said hi. He's probably working <laughs> on doing something. Who knows? Boxing. But he's looking forward <laughs> to seeing you. Oh, okay. He said you don't forget about the school supplies too. If anyone want to bring school supplies, just have them on this list as a breeze through this list. Uh, anything from the kindness of your heart, we'll find someone or somewhere to donate it, and we'll get. Oh, there's a lot of children. <laughs> a lot. And now, uh, and we and yeah, especially bring some wonderful black uh, doll babies for the Egyptian children. Oh yes, yes. Especially when we go to Nubia, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Good luck with that one. Mm -hmm. Uh, medicine. Uh, bring any necessary medicine. Make sure they're organized, and then. 15 camera, camcorders, films, mm -hmm. phones. Uh, just make sure you have all your electronics organized um, and be able to just charge them. And I always recommend that, you know, that um, international adapter um, and, um, and universal power strip that way you can just grab an iron. Prices. All right, uh, 16, uh, there's uh, things like travel iron, alarm clock, which you can use your phone, um, compact umbrella, waterproof poncho, um, mm -hmm. I doubt rains, but you just never know. Uh, 17, mosquito spray, um, 
and things like that that uh, you know to if you're just out in elements and you just things are biting you so just be mindful and be prepared to things like that uh you can use your phone for uh your calculations um to save on um, the situational trend uh basically exchange the money just bring bigger bills it's always easier to get you the better exchange rate and it's also mm less -hmm. carry um and then you can just bring as much cash as you need bring your, your different cards your debit credit cards and then just be flexible if you need to purchase something uh, or if you just need to use cash. So that just gives you the flexibility. Uh, 20, um, the weather is, well, it's supposed to be in the low 80s um, or mid 80s, but right now it's 78, so I'm close. Uh, just uh, make sure you just have comfortable clothes. Uh, 21, just, um, just keep it low when you're in the, you know, in the airport or the government buildings you know, with your, you know, your phone or your camcorder. Uh, 22, uh, travel insurance. This is just a recommendation. Um, Alliance Travel Insurance. Uh, if you want to add travel insurance to your package or if you want to log into your flights and add travel insurance, that way uh, that's also fine. 23, just uh, basic accessories, uh, tissue, soaps, napkins, wet wipes, uh, washcloth, uh, beach towel, laundry soap. Uh, the basics uh, that just, you know, you do to have your own uh, supply. All right, and also, uh, you know, we're there enjoying a nice tourism journey. Just be mindful of people that are very friendly and just want you to invest and do things that you're just not clear on and not prepared for and probably need to just do a lot more research on. And that's the same for every country, especially when people are approaching you to do this and do this in a country. I mean, that's very nice, but, uh, you know, you, you want to make sure you're well organized and prepared before you make any business decisions in the country. Other than that, Enjoy the beautiful life of tourism. 25, uh, leisure, especially when on the Nile cruise. And I mean, um, I always bring my dominoes. Uh, you got chess, um, you got mm -hmm. cards. Playing cards. And so if you just want to come out in this lounge in a social area, just come on and enjoy. Just enjoy every minute of the journey because by the time you turn around, mm -hmm. 10 days are over. Uh, 27, any emergency items that you may need, flashlight, basic first aid kit, and things like that. 27, just focus on enjoying yourself and don't get distracted by others or complaining about things that uh, none of us need to complain about. Uh, 28, um, if you have COVID vaccination or yellow fever, bring it. Um, there's no travel requirements. And uh, 29, when you get your bags in Cairo, we'll all get our carts together and then we just proceed together to meet our tour operator and then uh, we'll make our way to the hotel. And 30, just anything that you want to bring and leave in any tombs, any uh, candles, any um, flowers or anything, uh, you can just make this a special moment if you just want to reconnect back to the ancestral land. So those are some of the things that we have uh, on this uh, preparation overview. So family, you can always take your time and look through it. And um, I'll give you a more updated version when we get ready to do these private calls. So right now, let's check in our joy or... Um, or Caroline, can you meet yourself and say hello to the rest of us? Uh, all of us are traveling to Egypt, like, except for one or two people. Yeah. Greetings, oh. Sister Carol. How are you? Hi, I'm all right. Just ready, for the, ready for the journey of a lifetime? Yeah, getting ready for it. Getting excited. Well, excellent. I meant to ask you if, um, if you like a single upgrade. Or if you're good with your roommate. I don't know who my roommate is. Uh, I got one or two people to share with you. But if you want a single room, we can also upgrade you. Oh. The option to upgrade one one person. So it'll be the first uh, single female. Uh, let me know. Then I'll just upgrade them. Okay. That sounds good. Are you open to the upgrade? Yeah. All right. Perfect. I'll get you later. So I'll get you on a priority list for that. And I get the other two to be in a room together then. So I had three, three, three ladies and we had two rooms. So so that, uh, unfortunately, uh, one of our members have, um, didn't make it. So we're down to 14, which uh, we're thankful to have a nice solid group of 14 of us. Uh, right. And a lot of wonderful friend energy already going on. So I think I feel most people connect uh, with each other. Most people have the same energy i've never been to egypt before and looking forward to this hearing about this incredible historical country so um yeah let me know what you're looking forward to and what's on your mind and if you want to introduce yourself to the rest of us oh um it's my it's gonna be my birthday during that time november 24th so 
I'm looking forward to <laughs> being somewhere different for my birthday. All right, perfect. And Akubi is going to be in charge of your birthday party. Hit <laughs> Akubi. Hi, Ms. Nelson. How you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> Did I see you early at church? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's my journey of a lifetime. Ooh, That's right. Don't forget it. My you, you won't forget it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking forward to do that. I see that balloon ride. I'm so fascinated with that balloon ride. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. You go ahead with the balloon ride, not me. Mm. <laughs> I don't think. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's what I'm most looking forward to. Yeah, because you were in Ghana and you were on the uh, canopy ride. You remember how yes. that one was? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mr. Bobani will tell you, the first time I went three, I think three ropes and turned around, <laughs> but I went back with a vengeance the next year and finished it. Start all over oh. again. <laughs> That book right. could not defeat me. No way. Right. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I went. did it. I did it all the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little scary, no. but I did it. <laughs> but I thought I was gonna do it, but, but Mr. Bomani know I had some distractions, but that's okay. Because you, you can't keep me down long. I had to accomplish right. what I was set out to do. I did a camel right before in Dubai, so I'm looking forward too, to that yeah. also. So yeah, I did well, I did in Dubai and I did it three times in Egypt, so that's four. So this will be my fifth time getting on the camera. I'm looking okay. for it, boy. Yes, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I'm looking forward for this lifetime journey. Okay. Yeah, you enjoy it. It's, yeah, it's definitely, definitely different. Forward to it. Uh, my mother will be here. Uh, her name is Joy Brown, and she's right here. So she'll be ha having a good time with all of you also. Uh, she's been on multiple journeys. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. you just um you just muted yourself, Joy. And um, I know that I'm coming in on the twentieth, twenty first in the early morning. So, I know you said you would get me. There is nothing straightforward about cancer. Yes, um, arrangements to get a pickup. So that's what we have to do. Uh, so. Even when we're kind of just doing the, the finalization in early November, uh, we just uh, make sure that's uh, clear. That way you have the communication of the person that will be. Right. Because the mm -hmm. airport is doing all of our, uh, the hotel is doing all of our pickups because some of us are coming in different times. Right. Okay. So, so make sure that oh. you have all those information and the goal is to make sure everybody have everything mm -hmm. at least one mm -hmm. to two before they leave. To where you have everything uh that way we can just finalize on getting everything wrapped up here also getting the t-shirts the tour books um and all those things in place okay yeah looking forward oh it's getting excited now yes absolutely yeah we're, we're almost closer there. <laughs> Jaya, say hello to everybody hi hello hello okay um, hmm? yes this is Joy. <laughs> tell me about yourself. Tell, tell uh, everybody what you're looking forward to and the, the journeys that you've been on. I'm looking for um the adventure, <laughs> the history. You know, never been there before, so I have an open mind. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you, you've been to Ghana, Togo, Benin, uh, South Africa, and Brazil. Liberia. Liberia, Liberia, Liberia Morocco, six, seven, a lot of journeys. Wow. Uh, Brazil. And the yeah, African experience. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, was, that, that, that worked out good in Brazil because I was never able to get another journey. So I tell people that. You know, don't mean the schedules yeah. always come around and they come around. Maybe it's not enough people, but oh yeah, um, in nineteen ninety five, to Tanzania. Um, I was trying to do uh Brazil yeah. November next year, but Tanzania may have to work. But yeah, Akubi, this is my mother, Joy Brown. So you and her are gonna be well. Hello, how you doing? And you know, I did Brazil nineteen ninety five, and I did Tanzania. What November? What last year? Oh. And more than likely, I'll probably be hitting Tanzania back mm. with you again okay, on another good. journey. Yeah. Next time, next year. Yeah, Tanzania has been nice. Uh, 
Help help us yeah. get some recruits. Help, help us get some. Arusha. Some. Well, we may well we may ask uh, Miss Judy. We're gonna try to talk her into going there, and they're probably Ghana too. And Miss Nelson is already going to Ghana. She just came back, and she already uh, went to um, Tanzania. She went yeah. there before I did, <laughs> so she's yeah. already done both. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't mind multiple trips. It depends, but you know I'm not a South African person because of the history. So I don't know. Maybe one of these days. But mm, Ghana is my place, so. Yep. Yeah, Ghana is my place. Uh -huh. Yeah. That is it right there, Ghana. Yeah, Ghana and Togo, you know, those are my favorites. But I claim the whole continent, too, like the brother <laughs> said. <laughs> yeah, Ghana and Togo. Togo. Yeah, can't wait, can't wait. Counting down the days. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. With that one. Just talking about good luck with that one. Uh, <laughs> post I have that I'll be sharing on the WhatsApp group page are these uh, Google photos. <laughs> So when we create the link uh, for the uh, Google Photos, um, for the Egypt tour, just want everyone to upload some of their best photos that way we can just show different photos on there. So the galleries come out nice like these. These are some of the, the ones I started doing a few years now. Um, and the Ghana one, you click on it. And Ghana July Journey of a Lifetime. Yes. Put a little highlight right there, you know, just like the, 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 the video. So these are the, the flow of photos. And we just in different elements, different energy, and these are all uh photos from different uh group members, and it's just showing a full interaction throughout the entire journey. So, yes, family, that's what we do. We take a lot of photos and videos, everything that we experiencing with sharing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, lots of photos, lots of it, right? Uh huh. I'll, I'll be excited about seeing these. Mm -hmm. Look at that canopy. South Africa journey. <laughs> Love to have more photos on here, but uh, these are some of the photos. So that's our Africa for the Africans cultural experiences. Uh, and you know, here we are, the circle village I was talking about, the city. Yeah. So uh, Akubi, this is what you like. You like these cultural uh, experiences. Mandela. Yeah, that part, oh, yes. That part, yes. Big Mandela, little Mandela. <laughs> yeah. Those neck, I would like. Looking big and strong. Yeah. yeah. Those I would like. <laughs> <Proud of Bomani. laughs> so maybe the internet's not working good. That's his classic <laughs> computer. You see, yeah. this, this this where we sustain the city uh, in uh, Johannesburg. You know, we have our balcony and everything. It's not a nice little, and then uh, this is a nice little suite. So this, and your buddy right here, um, Akubi, that's my dad right there. It's a Charlie Brown. Mm. Okay. And then this is us right there, just enjoying a live show up in uh, in in, uh, in Soweto. And the next day, got your favorite shirt on. If you came to South Africa, you would have one of these shirts, uh, Kubi. Mm. That's what you made sure you had it when I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then brag about it afterwards. Mm. That's the a nerd. Oh, don't we look cool in like red, black, and green? Look, look at it. He's probably oh, cool and tired. Oh, come on. Now, now you're rubbing it in my face. Okay. I got <laughs> something for you. Uh. <laughs> I'll start in the hood. Look at it. All over the place. These are the new towers. Um, they, you know, they, I guess they changed them over a few years. The Hector Peterson Memorial, all historical places. Now, yeah, it's Mickey Mouse. Hmm. And then it's got a Mickey whole Mouse. lot of videos on Animal Safari. Mr. Bowman, right? They're looking tired. <laughs> with that big smile, yeah, right. <laughs> with that one, safari right there. <laughs> so get on a real safari truck. 
No. Yeah, because totally different from Tanzania, what we were on, with like the Serengeti. <laughs> and then it could be your favorite thing right here. Look at all the shopping right here. Oh, you wow. know the hey. And oh, yeah. the food. <laughs> and and yeah. the food. Oh. yeah, my mouth is watery now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it did bring back a lot of spices and stuff before. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. Yeah, so family, um, if you don't have any um, more questions or don't have anything else uh, you want to talk about, I'm going to close for the night. Appreciate everybody joining us. And uh, the WhatsApp group page is live. So anything you need to post or questions you have or anything that I need to post, uh, you can, you know, you'll see more and more as time go along. Then um, we'll do introductions uh, where you post your, you know, a picture of yourself and then just post an uh, you know, introduction. Uh, that way, when we meet up at the airport, everybody got an idea of how everyone looks since uh, most people don't come on the, this our call and then don't show their face on the video. So <laughs> one way to do it. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, no, do these things, so it's no big deal. Just appreciate you joining <laughs> us. So the WhatsApp page, uh, hopefully everyone could do that, post a photo of themselves. We'll start at the beginning of the month and just kind of build up the energy where we just, and then we just go over different things of the, um, the tour so that's one of the you know the best way that we can do it and then just do a private call we know that it would just be all of us and then when we're traveling which almost everybody end up showing up and we find a time <laughs> in the middle of the week um doing like um after hours when you're either off the road or finished working or or you're back and relaxing like an eight o'clock time frame like on a, a thursday and uh, we do those things, and then after a while, you'll be prepared, and then we meet and just enjoy the journey. So uh, the focus is always just getting you prepared, going through everything, and honestly, just getting as much done here now. That way, when you get there, you can just enjoy, uh, make all your preparations and everything. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so and if anyone else needs to just talk to me directly, you can just always reach out to me and we can talk and just um, get you connected. So looking forward to meeting everyone and um, I'll keep everybody posted on WhatsApp and um, uh, and also email. And I'll also ultimately just be on standby. Okay. I'll call you tomorrow. I'll call you tomorrow, Mr. Bomani. All right, absolutely. So everyone, you take care. <laughs> Good seeing you and All looking right. forward to that journey. And uh, we're getting close, so please be prepared. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks for money. Thank tired. you. Bye. Good night. Good night.